Thank you, Skyler, and hello, everybody. We're going to be talking about priorities, priority versus balance, and a look into my life. So a brief introduction. My name is Michael Peruginen. I'm 22 years old and was born and raised in Scottsdale, Arizona. So why Toastmasters? Public speaking is something I've always sort of struggled with, the nerves, the anxiety. So I want to work on my skill sets and found this club. I'd like to thank you guys all again for allowing me to join your club. I'm looking forward to learning something new from each and every one of you. Persuasive influence. After doing some research, I discovered that it's all about creating positive outcomes for both parties in the interaction. Something that, as someone being in sales, that's what it's all about. So what I have learned, the big idea, priorities over balance. Balance indicates that things in your life are equal at any point in time, whereas priorities on the other end are about differing hierarchies of importance, and those can change over time. Uh, using this really cool picture of a mountain I found, uh, the top being the most important priority in my life, and down, I will walk you through what those look like for me. So number one is faith. I'm a devoted Christian. I have been for about a year and a half. I started attending church about a year and a half ago, and it's just completely changed my life. Uh, I'm a part of a men's group where there's about 300 guys that meet weekly, and they share a bunch of wisdom, give me values that allow me to be a better man and husband, and that trickles down to the following priorities as well. So number two is my family. Uh, and family is an interesting one because there's almost a certain uh, hierarchy within that. For me, number one is my wife. She comes first in any uh, events that include family and then so on and so forth with my extended family. So here is a picture of my better half, my better looking half, and holding him is my wife. <laughs> I, I did get permission to use that one. Oh, you're in so much trouble. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this is a picture of my wife Maddie and I. Uh, We've been together for five years now and married for six months. And no, I did not win her over with my public speaking skills. <laughs> Third is work. So I'm an executive recruiter at Govig and Associates, and it's a great role to be in. It's something I've really enjoyed. It allows me to have a huge impact in people's everyday lives. I don't know if you've ever had an opportunity to go and make a complete career change, but it can be really scary and intimidating. And I get to be someone that walks someone through that process. So that's that's a big uh, a reason why I enjoy working there. So here is a picture of me with the owner of the company on the far right, that's Todd Gilby, and to the left is Hadley Gales. And in this photo, I'm accepting my Intern of the Year Award, which I'd like to shout out CJ. CJ, you guys get to see how much of a mentor and leader she is in Toastmasters, but what you don't get to see is that Monday through Friday. So CJ, thank you for your mentorship and leadership. I was her intern, by the way. <laughs> Here's a cool photo of me uh, trying to look cool. I had my own business during COVID. I was a fitness coach for about 15 men at one point. I had a couple of college athletes in there, but coached people from anywhere from 15 years of age to 40. And that was a, a great honor to have an influence in people's lives during a really tough time in the world. And fourth, friends. So my circle of friends. Uh, I choose my friends carefully, people that encourage me, uplift me, and my personal life, professional life, and spiritual life as well. Uh, who you work out with or friends that you include uh, in your circle, they are, I think there's a, a fact out there that they are 30% of who you are, and that goes into being 30% of who they are, so be careful who you have in your circle. Uh, here is a picture of my groomsmen and the bridesmaids at my wedding. These are people that have been in my life and have positively impacted me in some way or another. Uh, here's a photo of the best man, my best friend, Nico. I just find a great sport uh, with those with those values and qualities I discussed before. And I want to take this time too to rewind and talk about different seasons in your life. So sometimes your priorities and um, you know the, the hierarchy on this mountain, that's gonna change. For example, Nico recently lost his father, and his mom calls me and says, Hey Nico could really use his best friend, would you mind flying out to Lake Tahoe to spend some time with him, get his mind off of things? So in that season of my life, friends came over work. And in a lot of your lives too, you'll find that those priorities will flip and flop and change in different seasons of your life. Last, my hobbies. So hobbies comes last, but it always finds a way to work into your day to day. Uh, so a peek into those for me here is a collage of photos of my wife and I and our many travels. We've been to Alaska, that's Maddie holding a string of fish that I caught. Um, and, and we're on the beach in Mexico in the top right on our honeymoon, but we're all just outside. We love to be outside and, and adventure together. 
And on the left, that's me playing baseball. I was a senior in high school then. I had the opportunity to play all the way uh, up to, again, my senior year in high school. I had multiple collegiate offers, but ultimately ended up changing uh, the course of my life. In the middle is my wife, geared up in our Brazilian jiu-jitsu gi. Uh, I didn't have a photo of myself, unfortunately. I think I was wrestling the cameraman, but this is something that we like to do together and it gets our mind off of the stresses of life. Far right is my truck. I think it looks cool, but what I like even more is that it allows my family and I to go fun places that you wouldn't be able to do in maybe a Prius. Also cool, but just a different, uh, different experience. Uh, overall, priorities, it's how I navigate my life. It's important to keep those in check, and again, they will change in different seasons of your life, but again, it's allowed me to foster success and healthy relationships. So thank you.